Welcome to Lexington, where the sun shines bright literally and figuratively on their old Kentucky home and the Big Blue Nation ready to get behind these Wildcats in this one. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on another SEC rival, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Tennessee's offense takes the field. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need it. Hold it. Finds his man on the left. Still running at the 40. Afterburner's coming. Lowers that shoulder and delivers the blow. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30-plus. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. There's nothing better than opening drive, coming out as an away team. Everybody's got all that excitement, all that energy, and being able to run the football and physically exert yourself to start a football game. And you'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Vols! Talk about an offense finding its rhythm early. So nice to find the end zone early, get that confidence going. The defense is showing exactly what you'd expect them to do. Offense taking advantage. Great start for the offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Kentucky's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man to man coverage. I can promise you that. They're like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. And stampeding through the defense. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Three snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Catch open down the middle. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Got his man on the right. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Yeah, and obviously a great play by the offense to keep the drive alive, and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. They'll give it to the back. On the move, 
the 30. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. Corner showing press. They want to be physical here. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves the change for the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. And the D deny them on second and goal. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They've gotten pushed back but it's still third and goal. Back to throw, it's Vandergrift. He makes a grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky. That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense. Being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball. Playing at great rhythm and pace. QB making good, smart decisions and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last round. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen, Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. That's the way to open a drive. Now they'll put it in play just shy of midfield. Let's go, let's go. To the air on first down. That's caught. It's Thornton. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. That's a pretty impressive throw, man. That's given me Peyton Manning to Peerless Price memories back when I was watching them playing against them in college. That was a thing of beauty right there. There's a nice chemistry that this quarterback has with this group of wide receivers, and you see that in the timing of these throws. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. Listen, I know that's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a first quarter game. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Thought maybe they would consider the field goal here, but the offense is staying out there on fourth down. He'll pitch it. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And how about the run play on fourth and three to four? A lot of times you see that's a pass play nowadays. They run the football. They stick to what they do well. They know where the first down marker is, and they get the first down. Running the red zone. It's Selden. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next game. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Here on third down. They'll try to get outside. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. 
Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Okay, ready. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Here we go. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. On the run, it's Trainer. They'll mark him down right there, but it'll be enough for a Kentucky first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take a little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you to get to the running back before he gets stuck. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrift. That pass not closes. He got well trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. And the returner goes down. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. First down here for the offense. Ready, ready. The gift to the back. Nice move to pick up yardage. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And still a few inches short of the sticks as they come to the line for second down. The receiver on the jet sweep. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And I think in today's era of college football, we get enamored with the jet sweep. It's exciting. You're getting this wide receiver involved in the run game. But sometimes it's just better to go old school and just run the football conventionally north side. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. And the Volunteers have it with a first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Caught behind the line. It's Sampson. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles. And he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Hard running there. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? Well, he was able to gash him on that play. You just give this guy one inch, one little crease. He puts his foot in the ground, and he gets north fast. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here.
second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Keeps the legs moving. And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. QBs that can run completely change your game. I mean, every single bit of it. You have to understand, now as a pass rusher, I got to keep him in the pocket. I got to understand all the zone read concepts and the power read and the jet read, all the different things they can do to you. So, you know, having a guy back there at the helm that can run the football, you better be alert of it from the first play to the end of the fourth quarter. Jet sweep to the receiver. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Dances away again. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And this running back right now is sending a very clear message. He doesn't want to just be known as a guy that can run around you or run away from you. He wants you to know he can lower the shoulder and get those tough yards if need be. And they finally ride him down at the one-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range. You've got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Volunteers! This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Coming out with it, it's Brown. Smashes ahead. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something new. Really and he can't escape, and down he goes. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. To the air, it's Vandergriff. Lofts one high and deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. And he'll try this one from the left hash and 33 yards away. It's good. He's going to hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. They'll knock him down and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? 
video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. And the Vols will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Trying to make magic with his feet. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job, opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. The Vols pick up the first down. So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the way. Caught in the backfield, it's White. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. He's going to pass. A shot toward the end zone. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Well, the offense is in that fringe area. This is a place where a lot of coordinators like to take shots. They tried one there, just weren't able to come up with it. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Grab behind the line. It's Sampson. Finds a crease at the 20. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown ball! Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Movement here from the tight end. Looking for space. It's Trainum. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Pocket starts to collapse. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Second down. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Give to the running back. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Tennessee! And the pummeling has started. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear with his speed, he was gone. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up 35 to 10. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive, and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. Now on first and ten from the 27. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Hey, bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to power their way ahead. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. Bulls his way forward. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Reading the option, it's Vandergriff. And he's hit and taken down behind the line of scrimmage. And here comes play number six of the drive. They'll run play action. Quarterback gets the first down. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice job there by the QB on the side of because he's watching the D lineman, and he knows he has to keep the football, and then he right away takes it upfield to get some positive yards. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Looking to throw, it's Vandergriff. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. And he's got enough for a first down. Now to see if they have enough time to snap it again here in the third. 
No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot. He sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! This is like having an extra running back in your backfield. This quarterback is magic. He decides to keep the football. He can make people look absolutely silly. He shows you on that play. And after the extra point, they trail 35-17. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Looking for a productive play on first down. On the ground, it's Sampson. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give to the tailback. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. From the 22 on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. The Volunteers will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second and goal for the offense. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. After getting absolutely nowhere on second down, they'll try it again on third and goal. Trying to surge it in. Touchdown, Volunteers! And the beatdown has ensued. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So they moved the ball 43 yards on that drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Fielded in the end zone, it's Brown. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. 
There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Caught near the sideline, it's Trainum. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. On second down, looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Another incompletion on third down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in cover. Picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 10. Touchdown, balls! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking to throw, it's Vandergriff. Holds it in. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Wide open downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. And he's brought down after a nice game. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Fires to the wideout. And that pass picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception. Oh. He's going to go down, and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. You've got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. Gina, Gina. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. From the red zone, looking for a space. Got it. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Looking to pass. It's Vandergriff. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. Throw to the end zone. 
picked off. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. Heat up them pass rushers, bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Now they'll run it on the toss. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. There's a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. I'm really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident, David. They were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous, sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check, and now bragging rights for a whole year. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.